Welcome to this video in which we will learn how to measure temperature and humidity by using the sensor DHT11 or you can also use DHT22 connecting with Arduino. So this is the equipment we have required. This is DHT11, you can also use DHT22. And then we will require this node MCU for this activity. And this is the cable for the node MCU that will be connected with laptop and this is the breadboard and a few connecting wires will be required these are male to male connecting wires and now let's make the circuit first i will connect this node mcu on breadboard i will partially connect it let me show you like this okay and then i will connect this dht11 sensor on the breadboard DHT11 sensor has three pins. Ground will be connected on ground of uh, node MCU. PCC will be connected on three volt and signal or data pin will be connected on D2 pin right here. This is the D2 pin of the node MCU. The signal or data pin of the sensor will be connected here. This is the cable that we will connect with the computer or laptop. So let me connect it first. So we are done and we are ready to code and here we would require a few settings first we go to preferences and this is make sure this link is pasted here i will provide the link in the description you can watch that uh, uh, video and set up your node mcu it's a short video so don't worry uh, but i'm telling here so this is the code that we would require this is the library dht11 uh, go to library and here you have to install the library uh, type DHT11 and scroll down a little bit and this is the library DHT sensor library so you have to install it I have already installed it so uh, it's showing remove okay so uh, then um, we need to go to the board manager and here we would require ESP8266 I have already installed so you have to install this as well and then we have to select board here so here we have to type node MCU or just node node and this is node MCU 1.0 in my case this is uh, the board and I have to select the com as well and then you can verify or directly upload it's up to you my code is working fine so i'm directly uploading to the node mcu it will take some time in uploading and here you can see the percentage is showing and i am speeding uh, up the video to save your time and it's now done uploading now you have to go to the serial monitor and after some time the temperature humidity will be shown here so here temperature in degree celsius fahrenheit and humidity uh, is shown here you can see the values are continuously updated and you can uh, change your place to verify these values thanks for watching